Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. Today, I'm going to talk about how to automate uh, ACK cluster creation and uh, PostgreSQL deployed part of the automation with just one command in 10 minutes. I very much love cloud, love Kubernetes. You might have noticed on the screen, I'm seven times Alibaba Cloud certified, and I'm also fully certified on Kubernetes. And also, I'm also very proud of being a Alibaba Cloud MVP. Let's get started. So first of all, why Alibaba Cloud? So Alibaba Cloud got uh, uh, almost 40% of the market share. And if I talk about uh, the regions across the Asia Pacific, Alibaba Cloud is the, definitely the clear leader. They got the 20 regions uh, back in January. I did not you know, review the website uh, again. Back to January, they got the 20 regions. So comparing to AWS in Asia Pacific, they have 10 regions. So why Alibaba Cloud ACK? That's the container service for Kubernetes. Alibaba Cloud actually started to offer the managed Kubernetes service back in early 2016. So that is about two years ahead of Azure AKS, though it is one year after AWS EKS and Google GKE. But they also have the built-in observability, they provide great features and the capabilities. I'm not going to go through one by one here, let me jump to the live demo to show you how it works. So if you don't have uh, Alibaba Cloud account yet, you can follow the link here to sign up a trial account in just five minutes. And once you have the access to the cloud account, so you can build the lab, build a ACK cluster, comes with a PostgreSQL database. You just run one command in about 10 minutes. Once you've done the testing, you can destroy the whole lab with another command in about 10 minutes. Let me jump to the web console, actually. This is my VS code. So jump to the web Alibaba Cloud web console. If you haven't logged in, let me log in. And from the menu bar here, you can choose a uh, container service for Kubernetes. If you can't find it here, you can do the search or it's under elastic computing. Where it is, uh, actually it is under containers. A container, you can start and make it a bookmark. It will be showing here. So once you click the ACK service, it will give you the option here, how many cluster I have. Right now, I don't have any cluster yet. So I'm going to create a new cluster shortly. So let me come back to my slide deck just to walk you through a little bit more. So you need to prepare the environment first. So I'm going to run the command from my terminal, my terminal running on MacBook, but you can run it from any one of your terminal you, you, you are familiar with. So you need to have the RDI uh, in CLI installed and configured, similar like an AWS configure. If you install AWS and CLI, you need to run AWS configure. So in Alibaba Cloud, they call RDI in configure. So once you have the command line configured, you just need to clone the repository. I listed the repository here from our GitHub page. It's publicly available. And optionally, you can customize your cluster name, your instance type, your region or zone. You don't have to. So then how to automate the cluster creation and also deploy a PostgreSQL database. You just run ACK-deploy. So let me come to my VS code here. I'm actually already cloned to, to my local directory. So this is my directory it's called ACK-CASA. And then from the directory, all I need to do is just run ACK-deploy, press enter. And behind of the scene, if I come back to the slide deck here, so we are going to create a separate VPC, vSwitch, gateway, route, and then followed by create an ACK cluster from the command line. Once the cluster is up running, we are going to deploy a PostgreSQL database. Okay, let's see how it goes. So this is the my VS code. So once you run the command, I just kicked it off a moment ago. 
it will say you copy the whole open API URL and then paste to the browser, press enter. So I'm going to double or triple click the URL. That's the very long URL. Basically, we are using the open API to create the cluster from the web browser. So I copy this and then I'm going to paste uh, to the new tab. I'll paste the URL here, press enter. And once I press enter, it will give you the screen uh, looks like this. So what is my cluster name? What is my region ID? What is my version, et cetera? Uh, there are a lot of settings. I already pre-configured this. So all I need to do is just click a call now. So what's happening behind the scene is that we're going to make an API call by the open API to the Alibaba Cloud. So as long as you can see the response code 202, we are all good. Now come back to the VS code here. So all I need to do is uh, once you see response 202 from the web browser, you press enter here. That's all we need to do for now. You just need to wait about 10 minutes. So the whole environment will be up running. So if you are interested to see from the web console, if I go back to my ICK console, you can see the new cluster is uh, initializing. So typically about 10 minutes, the cluster will be up running. Uh, I'm gonna pause here until the cluster is ready and then we will continue. Yeah, I think uh, so far we are running all good. The cluster is still initializing. If you check the web console right now, you can see this is my cluster name and also the cluster ID. And uh, my cluster type is ACK pro professional version. And uh, this is my region. And uh, when we started creating the cluster and the version, yeah, right now I do not use the latest version. I just use 1.20 as an example. And if you want to check the details of the, you can click a view logs. So once you click a view logs, you can see what exactly we are doing right now. If you click the second, uh, tab here, the logs tab, you can see the details. What exactly step-by-step -step, uh, Alibaba Cloud is creating the cluster. So go back to the dashboard. We are still creating shortly, it should be uh, ready. And if I go back to my VS Code, yeah, it doesn't, yeah, from all my, the command line, we just uh, simply to wait the cluster up running. So we are almost there. And uh, if I go back to my slide deck here, so just to summarize, we create we actually create a separate VPC, a uh, vSwitch gateway and route. And we will also deploy a sample database, in this case, a PostgreSQL database. And once we've done all of these uh, testing, so yeah, it should be, uh, the cluster should be up running in a minute or two. Once we finish the cluster creation, so I will show you how to destroy the cluster. Yeah, once I log into the web console to walk you through a little bit, I will show you how to destroy the lab. So once you finish your testing, you just run ack-destroy.sh. We will remove the ack cluster we created. And we will also remove the relevant VPC, vSwitch gateway route. And we also remove all the relevant disks in the, the related snapshots. So we'll come back to the yeah, VS code, actually, the cluster just created. You can see total time. This time it's interesting. It takes 11 minutes and 11 seconds. If you guys find any issues, feel free to send me an email. I will be more than happy to fix the issues. Now come back to my web console. From Alibaba Cloud, you can see the cluster is completely up running. Yeah, for the costing, uh, cost optimization, I only created one node. And if you click the cluster name, it will give you some more details. So for example, from here, how you're going to connect to the cluster, you might want to open a cloud shell, for example, how many nodes I have, I only have one node. And uh, what about my ports? I just show you here. By default, the namespace is default. If you want to choose the Yon-Post-GreSQL, 
that's the sample database part of my automation also deployed it to the cluster. Uh, I, I think that's all I want to show you for now. Yeah, it's come back to the slide. Yeah, we already talked about ACK destroy. So once I completed my testing, yeah, because I was also using my own account, I don't want to be charged by Alibaba Cloud. So once you've done your testing, yeah, remember to destroy it. So all I need to do is just run ICK dash destroy, destroy, not deploy, destroy and press enter. And shortly, we will de delete the ACK cluster and also clean up the environment. Back to the slide deck, we just kicked off the ACK dash destroy command. So it, it take uh, probably also about 10 minutes but we are not going to wait just to give you some more reference links. If you are interested to say, you know, here you go, you got the automation source code uh, available from all my GitHub page. Yeah, it's it's completely free. And for the ACK Kubernetes documentations, uh, this is a link from Alibaba Cloud. And if you are interested to create the cluster, ACK cluster from Web Console, I do have a YouTube video created earlier to show you how to step-by-step -step create an ACK cluster from the web console. Also, another video about how to create an ACK cluster by the open API. I do love automation. If you guys also love automation, I created automation to cover other Kubernetes cluster as well. Feel free to give it a try. If you guys find any issues or any comments, feedbacks, yeah, feel free to connect me. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you very much. I hope it is useful to you. And uh, yeah, feel free to follow me by any one of the links listed here. Thank you so much.